Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 9. Now, let's take more examples. Let's use the substitution method for a problem where we have definite solution. Here we have x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to 4. So let's take this solution, this one, and write x in terms of y. So x becomes y plus 4, correct? So I have x equal to y plus 4. This value of x, now I'll put in this one. So this becomes y plus 4 instead of x plus y is equal to 14, correct? Or what I get is 2y plus 4 is equal to 14 or what I get is y is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5. So I got the value of y and that is a concrete value, real value. That means it has a finite solution. Once I have the value of y, I can get the value of x by putting in any other equation. Let's try equation 1. x plus y, y is 5 is equal to 14. So I'll get x is equal to 9. I could have done this way also in the second equation x minus 5 is equal to 4 or x is equal to 9. Any other method is fine to me. Correct? What I have done? I have just written x in terms of y and then in the second equation, see since I have used this equation, I can't use this equation now. In the second equation, I have used this uh, value of x, I put in terms of y. So the whole equation came out to be in terms of y. You see, this whole equation is in the term of y. Now I got the value of y. And since I got a concrete value, I know that it is a finite solution. And then to get the value of x, I can use the value of y in any of the equation to get the value of x. So here what I have done, I have used x minus y is equal to 4 for this. I could have done this way also. You will get the same answer. If I would have told x is equal to 14 minus y, right? And then I will use this value of x in this equation, so this becomes 14 minus y minus y because this is x minus y is equal to 4. So what I have got uh, 2y is equal to 10 or here also I would have got y is equal to 5. Correct? Same thing. You write this equation in terms of y or this equation in terms of y or you write y in terms of x or x in terms of y, it doesn't matter. The only thing is you choose one equation, you write that in terms of uh, x or y and then whatever you have here this side, you substitute in the other equation and then you solve it. The goal here is to create one equation. If you see here we have created one equation which is totally in terms of y or this equation or totally in terms of y. Correct? Or totally in terms of x. So in that case you will get the value of x or y. Let's take one more example where we have no solution. x plus y is equal to 14 and x plus y is equal to 4. There is no solution for this. We'll show you how. Let's suppose uh, now the earlier chapter we have in mean the earlier slide I have put everything in terms of y. Now let's put everything in terms of x. Right? So this becomes uh, let's suppose we'll take this. Y become 14 minus 6. Same thing. X plus y is below 14. So I can say y is below 14 minus 6. Now this value of y I'll put in this equation because this equation I've already used it, correct? So this becomes y is nothing but x is nothing but x plus y is nothing but 14 minus x. This becomes 4. x x cancel. So you get 14 is equal to 4 which is a false statement. Since this is the false statement I can say that there is no solution. Correct. Very simple what I have done. I have just used this. I have just made y is equal to 14 minus x, this one. Since I have already used this equation, I will use this equation now. Please make a note, don't use same equation in both the case. Because if you use both, both the equation in the same case, you will get different answer. For example, if I use this equation only both time. So x plus y is equal to 14, I get y is equal to 14 minus x. Correct. Now this y I am putting in the same equation again. So this becomes x plus 14 minus x is equal to 14. 14 is equal to 14. So this is a true statement. You will say it, is, it has finite solution. No. 
this is not the way if you are using this equation to find the value of y in terms of x this value of y should go in second equation this should not go in the same equation as always you will get true statement please be aware of this if you are using this statement to find the value of y in terms of x you have to use this statement for y other way around is also true don't use same statement twice use both statements correct we will take one more example where it has infinite solution 3x minus y is equal to 3 and 3 9x minus 3y is equal to 9 so here 3x minus y is equal to 3 i can say y is nothing but 3x minus 3 correct now since i have used this equation since in this case i have used this equation now that's why this value of y i have to put in this equation correct i will do the same i will write 9x minus 3 into y instead of y i will say 3x minus 3 is equal to 9 so what i will get 9x minus 9y plus 9 is equal to 9 this cancel 9 is equal to 9 since 9 is equal to 9 is always a true statement i will say that this has infinite solution did you understand what I have done? Here also I have written this equation, the first equation in terms of y. I got y is equal to 3x minus 3. This value of y I will use in second equation now. So I say 9x minus 3 into y instead of y I am saying 3x minus 3 is equal to 9. And I got 9 is equal to 9 which is a true statement. So I can say it has infinite solution. Now let's take one example where we have to solve using substitution method. 0.2x plus 0.3y is equal to 1.3. 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3. We have to find the value of x and y. To solve using substitution method, we have to find the value of x in terms of y or y in terms of x from first equation and put in the second equation. Let's try to find the value of x in terms of y from first equation. This becomes 0.2x is nothing but 1.3 minus 0.3y or I can say x is equal to 1.3 minus 0.3y by 0.2 this is my value of x from this equation first equation now this value of x which I have got I have to use in the second equation this is my second equation correct so I'll say 0.4x instead of x I'll say 1.3 minus 0.3y by 0.2 plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3. See till now what you've done. We have found the value of x in terms of y using first equation. That value of x I am putting in the second equation. This and this two point point cancel. So I'll get 2 into 1.3 that is 2.6 minus 0.6y plus 0.5y is equal to 2.3 if I solve this further I'll get minus or I'll put this this side 0.1y making this side is equal to 0.3 or I'll get y is equal to 3. this is the value of y what I've done this is 0 0.6 0 0.5 this becomes 0.1 minus 0.1 I took this side this becomes 0.1 and this I took this side this becomes 0.3 so I got y is equal to 3 now I can put y is equal to 3 in any of the equation to get the value of x or I can put here only so if I put this here this becomes 1.3 minus 0.3 into y is nothing but 3 by 0.2 correct because this is the value of x actually if you see 1.3 minus 0.3 into y so this is nothing but 1.3 minus 0.9 y 0.2 that is nothing but 0.4 by 0.2 and that is nothing but 2. so i got the value of x to be 2 and y to be 3 and that is my answer what i've done very simple i have written the first equation in terms of x i mean x in terms of y and then x this x i'm using in the second equation i got one equation that is totally in terms of y and i got the value of y to be 3 once I got the value of y to be 3, I have used this value of y in this equation 
and I got the x value to be. You have to practice more. The more you practice, the better it will be. Let's thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.